So, Romain, I remember because after we first met during the chemistry meeting, you sent us a letter telling us how much you wanted to work with us and how much you fell in love with our brand. So, two years after we kicked off our relationship, mm -hmm. my question and our question <laughs> is, are you still in love with us? So much. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, so much in love with you. It was like really love at first sight. You know when you meet someone, you know there's something happening, and you know you're going to be able to do great work, you know that you're going to be able to trust each other to... I don't know how, but why, but we knew it. And still today, we keep on talking fully to each other, we keep on presenting you some work, and you, you're enthusiastic about it, and so it, it's maybe even better than in the beginning, I think. And actually, yeah. I remember one of the advice I got from uh, my boss at the time who said, okay, because we were in a pitch process and we had to choose between two agencies, and one impressed us also with an idea which was kind of uh, sparkling, and, and she told me it's like choosing between your husband and the one night stand. <laughs> like, you need to understand who is going to be there for you in difficult times, <laughs> listen to you be reliable and be there to find solutions when it starts to be less nice. And this is the approach that we also got when actually choosing and selecting the agency. We looked at the long term, we tried to understand the long term relationship rather than the just the short term sparkle. Because you gave us like a sparkle, but we also wanted to portray the relationship on a longer term. Yeah, and since the beginning, during the chemistry at the starting point of the relation, we understood, as you say, that uh, we will build a transparent and a authentic relation and we keep it as a key mindset and a key filter in all we do now. And maybe we, this is one of the key success factors. Um, we choose a platform, we choose an ID truly, uh, but at the end we choose people and we choose a relationship because it's the best way to build uh, and elevate the game each time. So, And just to build on that, indeed, yeah. <laughs> we have a framework in KFC which is to get red work relevant, easy and distinctive and I think you were able really to showcase that very simply to us and you not only convinced us based on the strategic work but also on the distinctiveness of the creatives. You know, there is something that I really love in the way we work together. It's that we can be very honest and transparent about everything that we do. Like when things work, we say, well, great, it, it works and when it doesn't work that well, we say, well, maybe we should change this but without being... Too critic? Too critical about it. You know, yes. All this works less, well, let's, let's change it. it. And I think what both drives us in the two camps is that we want to be proud of the work that we produce. Mm -hmm. So I think that is really something which drives our team to be proud of the work and we try to give you enough freedom to come with bold ideas. So we try to really be precise enough in the brief to be clear on what we want to achieve, but at the same time give you enough freedom to be able to explore and to come up with brave ideas. So just wanted to make sure that you also feel that and that you feel that you have the permission to be brave. Well, we know that we have the permission to be brave and that's why maybe we won so many, so many awards <laughs> over the past two years, both uh, creative awards or effectiveness awards. So we know we can be brave when we work together and that's what excites us. And all, you know, all the creatives in the, in the agency, they want to work for KFC. Like you are yeah. the one account, the one brand that everybody wants to work for at the agency. So yeah. we, we are also in a culture where we value distinctive work and we say it's better to be off strategy and distinctive than on strategy and non-distinctive because there is a real benefit in standing out. Well, I'll try to make sure we are always on strategy because that's my job anyway. But <laughs> uh, there's something exciting about it is uh, we are very happy to do better creative work than the other countries and especially the UK. Yes. <laughs> because we're always happy to beat them in, in terms of creativity. Yeah. So that's very challenging for us as well. Thank you for that. <laughs> yeah, and maybe the, the French market is quite exigent. The level is high on the, on the competition with our two, uh, two competitors and this is maybe another uh, way to, be, to elevate all the game. So that's why maybe each time we try to elevate each uh, initiative, each ID, and be more creative, put more craft in all we communicate to the consumer. Uh, so maybe it's one part of the success, the challenge with the, the global and all the country because we want to be better and to improve our plan, but also the competition, which is uh, truly hard in France. Yeah. And the outsider mindset mm -hmm. is clearly one of the key success factors we had. Bon Pierre, what is the work you, you are the proudest of among everything we produced? 
Maybe it's the brand campaigns we, we built, the, the two last one, um, because in France we are challenger, as you say, Romain, but we have a consideration challenge. So we need to transform the, the brand perception from the, the consumer lens. Um, and this campaign around the crispiness is uh, truly the, the right one regarding the platform. It's the flag flagship of our crispiness. Uh, so for me, it's the best masterpiece uh, we have. Riding with my homies in the middle of the night, almost midnight, like it's sticking up to high. Heavy laughing, we be shouting, spitting fire, make it crispy. Is it tender? Is it hot? Make it tasty. Been waiting for this alive, put some hot sauce on it. I, I love these campaigns, these two films, because they are, we call them the authentic core. Before that, you know, the Colonel Sanders was doing crazy stuff, and, but was not authentic at all. And I love the idea that we managed to put him back in the kitchen yeah. and do what he does the best, which means preparing the tenders and the crispiness of the recipe and putting some coolness in it by having him dance and with the rap music and everything. I love this. It's a, it's a piece of entertainment. Yeah, and, the, and maybe it's the best example of the synergy we built because mm -hmm. if you remember at the beginning, the colonel was positioned as a kind of vintage, uh, um, an authentic okay. symbol. But in the discussion, we tried to elevate the game to be more bo modern and uh, put a more contemporary code uh, in the in the campaign. And, and to bet on that, indeed, we were talking first about the relationship, but what we like a lot is that you listen to our feedback and you don't try to avoid working on our feedback or push back our points. You always, so far, integrated our feedback trying to find a solution. Yeah. So we really appreciated also the listening attitude and the fact that you tried to also put yourself in our shoes in order to get to, to the best solution, so. We would have to solve problems. <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe the real success in this, in this case and in our relation is that uh, we changed the perception of the French consumer uh, since we, uh, we uh, began with this platform. But at the same time, we uh, drive sales for our franchisee, for our business. And maybe it's the, the most important for us and maybe the most difficult also. So we find the yeah, solution to, to build the consideration of our brand, build the brand equity for the future, but at the same time, don't forget the, the business. And for me, it's the best. Uh, yeah, I think good, to build yeah. on what Pierre is saying, success is delivering on short term, so sales overnight yeah. and brand over time, building the brand on the long term. And so far, you have made the objectives on the two fronts. Yeah. So we are extremely happy. That's why I think we already gave you confidence as of the start. And we expect even more, not just about answering our brief, but also coming proactively with ideas that actually build the business because we, we really count on you now that you know our brand, that you know how we work, to also come with ideas which weren't part of the initial brief. It's really what we believe love is about. It's about being able to surprise the other <laughs> years after years. After years. <laughs> and to even raise the bar. As well. <laughs> 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 <laughs>